Hello again and welcome back to Scott Wanders World. Scott, the host of the most, back with another beer review. No wonder today, there's no point, she'll hate it. There is a chance I'll hate it as well. Oh, a lot of light in here because she's got a bloody washing over the um one of the windows. Anyway, you're not interested in that. So excuse me. Um what was that? Lost my train of thought. Um, 7 o'clock this evening. Well, it might not be this evening. It depends when you watch this. 7 o'clock this evening. It goes out on Friday. The whatever it is of the, uh, the 3rd, 2022. Um, I'm live on this channel here with my good friend, the lo ever lovely Dean from Dean's Beer Reviews. Now, we're taking a look at, firstly, Planet Pale from Brewdog. There's me and my good friend Dean. Um, he came down to Mine and Wanda's wedding last weekend and we met up on the Sunday after everyone had gone home and buggered off uh, at Gun Wharf and we sat and had a beer at the Slug and Lettuce. Uh, just me, him, uh, Wanda and his lovely wife. And uh, we had a, the only thing that was on tap that sort of um, piqued our interest was Planet Pale from Brewdog. And it actually turned out to be okay. So we picked up a can each. So tonight at seven o'clock, uh, come and give us a watch. We picked up with three other beers. I don't know what he's got. He doesn't know what I've got. It'd just be a bit of fun. Me and my mate having a chat. So come in and have a chat. So I stopped off at Asda in Havant, the old um, Havant hypermarket. It's now the Walmart big shop. And uh, to pick my four beers up. While I was there having a peruse, this one caught my eye. Um, it's everyone's favourite brewery in the whole wide, wide, wide world. It's Brewdog, or Boo Dog, as some people like to call them. Now, politics aside, I'm not going to get into politics on this channel. I don't really give a shit, if I'm honest. Excuse me. Um, make good beer. Don't make good beer. That's all I'm interested in. Um, the other stuff, nothing to do with me. So, yeah. So, this caught my eye. My favourite style of beer is a West Coast IPA. This is a West Coast IPA. It's from Brewdog. We all know Brewdog are capable of making decent beer. They're also make, capable of making some fucking terrible beer. So this one, it could be good. It could be going out there very quickly. Like the, the original bloody pale ale thing came out that I lobbed out the shed. Um, so this one is, I've not seen it anywhere else. I've checked on YouTube to see if anybody else has done it. They haven't. Um, YouTube first. YouTube Premier. Um, Brew Dogs, a Puppet Master, West Coast IPA, and it was three pounds, and it's coming in at six and a half percent. Like the can art, actually, it's like a a bit of an American flag. So you got the um the stars, you got the stripes, and the old bits of pieces and the thing. Um, democracy for dummies. I'm not into politics on beer. Jog on. Um, so yeah, if it's on the test, okay, I'm good with that. I don't know about you, obviously now, in the olden days, I don't know if I've got a can on. Let's have a look. No, I haven't got any of the old cans. Dean used to describe them as the Bible of bullshit with the amount of shite they used to run on their cans. And now there's next to fucking nothing. And I don't know which I actually prefer. What do you prefer? Comment below. Uh, 6.5%, 440 mil can. Brew dog, brood in Ellen. United we stand for better beer, fiercely defiant and independent. Anyway, what we're interested in is if it's any good. I've got my brew dog glass. So I'll say my favourite style of beer, um, West Coast IPA. It's got to be pithy. It's got to be um, resin, uh, pine resin. It's got to be bitter. I had one the other night from Playbrew. I sent it a picture to Dean. Um, and very nice, but not your typical, what I would call typical looking, um, West Coast IPA. In the glass, I'm calling that a typical West Coast looking IPA. So it's, um, slightly amber in colour, typical brew dog fare. So it's absolutely pin sharp, a little bit of, um, carbonation rolling up the glass, finger of a white head. Quite compact white head. Looks, <coughs> excuse me, looks nice. I am hopeful. I'm hopeful. 
Let's go for a nose. Please get it right. I think the last West Coast IPA I had from them was bloody um, modern times. Caused a bit of a hoo ha. Um, wasn't great. Very subtle, it's not jumping out, I'll give it that. You're getting that pine resin, you're getting some grapefruit, some citrus. It smells all right, it doesn't smell fantastic, I'm gonna be absolutely honest, it smells okay. A little bit of sort of pithy orange. Cheers. I'm waiting for the bitterness to kick in a little bit. It is there, it is there, but it is searching for it. It comes in quite a long time after that, that initial sip. You're getting the grapefruit. You're getting that citrus. You're getting that resiny, <coughs> um, sort of stickiness. You're getting that, the bit, that pine. There's elements of stone fruit in there as well. For me, it's just not bitter enough. It's a very safe West Coast IPA very drinkable West Coast IPA. It's not terrible. Once again, it's got that brew dog character about it. There is a, a resiny, piney, grapefruity bitterness that sticks on that sticks in the palate and actually stays around for a little while and there's just not enough of it for me um i'm a bit disappointed I'm, I'm very disappointed puppet master it's called did i say it's called did I give you the name i got a fucking clue what was that? That was seven eight minutes ago <laughs> clueless about right It's all right. It's not fantastic. It's not the worst brew dog beer I've ever had. It's not the best brew dog beer I've ever had. It's a safe West Coast IPA from brew dog. Three pound a can. I've got stop, stop, the, is it stop the clock um, in the fridge? Um, pisses all over that. It's a bit frustrating. I'm a bit frustrated, but am I frustrated or am I just a bit resigned to the fact that it's a safe beer that's gone into the supermarket from Brewdog. That's probably more what I'm getting at. Um, <clears throat> six and a half percent. There's a nice carb nice gentle carbonation to it. Six and a half percent. Not getting any of the six and a half percent. Um, it's just not. Do you know what? If they, <laughs> if they spent more time brewing fucking decent beer than this bullshit, I'd be damn sight happier. It is what it is. Um, it's all right. If you've had it, let me know. Um, comment in the comment box if you've had it. Uh, I'm assuming it was probably part of some one of their bloody um, members clubs or fan box things or whatever they've done. It's just been rebadged. Um, it might even be a, 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 a rebrew of modern times. Um, if it is, it's slightly better than modern times. Um, what was it? Was it modern times or was that the brewery? I can't fucking remember. Um, <coughs> it's it's okay. 
It, I'll sit and drink it, but it's not, it's not the best beer I've ever had in my life. Um, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Entirely your prerogative. Um, there's a subscribe button if you like the content. Um, there's a join button if you want to go further. And I'll see you tonight with my good friend Dean. Have a good weekend. And me and Wanda, see you very soon.